Paul Goldschmidt honored for his Clemente Award nomination, seventh time in his career. Pre-game ceremony with John Mozeliak and wearing number 21 tonight. Wearing number 39, the starter for St. Louis. It is Miles Michaelis. The second half has been at times up and down. A record of 500, 11 and 11, a 3-4-2 ERA. The 0 2 is showing bunt and strikes out. Showing bunt on 0 and 2 to maybe push that ball against the shift and looked at a called third strike. The pitch right there, strike three called, and Fraley knew it. Two strikeouts. The Reds turn to the 34 year old veteran, Chase Anderson. Now, Chase is really kind of pitching himself back into shape. He has been around a while. He's got nine years in the major leagues. He is seven games over 500 in his major league career, earned run average sitting around 4.2. Edmund pops it up. It's a lot of ground here. Long sprint for Steer and Friedel. Friedel sliding the other side wall in and out of his glove. And he is slow to get up. His prone midsection went right into that short side wall. Well, he tried to protect himself by going down and kind of sliding into it to slow himself down. But you can tell he abruptly stopped and hit it very hard. Athletic trainer Sean McQueen, he checks on it. That's your ribs going straight in, padded or not, at that kind of speed. It's 2 0 pitch. And Goldschmidt, or uh, Arenado, drives it to right. Going back on it is Aquino. And he will square up, shy of the track, and make the catch. Arenado is retired. Goldschmidt is stranded at first. And the Cardinals are done in the first. Here is Nick Senzel. Senzel's hitting 229, four homers, 24 RBIs. Senzel launches to left field to spot around Burleson looks up and that's gone. Nick Senzel on a two out payoff pitch goes deep and gives the Reds a one nothing lead. Well he saw that one pretty big had a big half on an earlier pitch in the at bat it came up empty but got a pitch really right in the hot zone right here and did not let it not let it get by him at all. Boy that's a good swing by Nick Senzel. On top of the order T.J. Friedel he's dropped a few two strike bunts. In his time with the Reds. That's a hot shot there. Threaded inside of first. Romine, one of the slower Reds, through second. The ball just now gathered on a pinball by Newt Bar. Offline throw to second. Head first slide in without a tag for Friedel. Romine stops at third base. A double for Friedel, second and third. Nobody out. The Reds still have the bases loaded. Jake Fraley at the plate. And this ball lifted into right field. Much deeper than the previous. It will score Romine. The ball is caught by Newt Barr and it's a 2 nothing Reds lead. Sacrifice fly for Jake Fraley. Michaelis working with Molina setting up outside. The pitch is outside and the fake throw to second. Now they've got him hung up and they've got the runner hung up between first and third. Now they throw home and they got him. So Molina faked the throw to second then got the runner between first and second hung up and they waited, Donovan and Goldschmidt did, for the runner to break home, and they threw him out at the plate. So Goldie will bat with two runners on instead, and he did walk that first time up, only three for 16 in his career against Chase Anderson. 3-1 pitch, and he lines it fair inside the third baseline. One run is in. Here comes another. Goldie on his way to second. Relay to the plate. He is at the play. Kyle Farmer gets a low five from Jonathan India set up by the corner outfield play of T.J. Friedel. Well not hit all that hard a little bit off the hands but Friedel gets over there in a hurry and look at the quick exchange by Kyle Farmer never really even took a crow hop. Here's Nolan Arnato. Arnato one home run away from 30. Hits this ball well to left center headlong dive in between and the catch made by Friedel. Oh, that's a spectacular play. He robs Arenado. I did not think he would close this ground. Yeah, I mean, he really closed hard on this and fast. This ball was hit like a shot right into the gap, sinking. Friedel is putting on a defensive clinic here tonight. Backhanded that ball, and the dangerous rolling over on the wrist right there. He's able to keep that glove and keep the ball in the glove somehow. He's already made him. Nearly miraculous play up against the fence in foul territory. The batter is Aquino, who is 0 for 2. He struck out looking on a 3 2 pitch back in the second and popped out to second. Aquino lifts this oh, ball yeah. in the air, cranks it to deep left field. Clobbers a home run. He has launched five in his last 14 games, and he gives the Reds some breathing room. It's 3 to 1.
It is such a nice easy swing for Aquino. I mean there's no use for a player with that kind of strength and leverage to swing hard. Just put a good swing on it. That ball on the outer part of the plate. Michaelis knows it right away. The trajectory coming off the bat. The sound of it. And so does Aquino. Ian Jabot is in. And it gets dicey when you bring the bullpen in and your starter was able to kind of set the pace. A 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes Tommy Edmond. He climbed the ladder. And Edmund went after it. He is down on strikes. Two gone in the sixth. 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three called. Got him looking. Fastball at the knees. Down on strikes. Goldschmidt. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Ian Jabot to close out a 1-2-3 Cardinal six. Now Aristides Aquino will stand in. Aquino went deep his last time up. Hit hard and passed Arnado's backhand base in. Solano shoots up and through second. Burleson out of our view in the left field corner, flicks in. Solano shuts it down to third, and another double for Aquino. Second extra base hit tonight. It's a career high 11 doubles for the Punisher. Stuart Fairchild is going to come off the bench and run for Solano. And you wonder how much of the, the fly ball with Romine at third was in the mind of David Bell. Lined into right. Newt Bar is there. The catch is made. Fairchild tagging up. Throw it to the plate. He got it's an outfield assist. Lars Newpar. A bullet to the plate. And a double play. Yadier Molina with a put out with a good tag on Fairchild, the pinch runner trying to score. Rumar. 16 career grand slams. A base hit. That's all they need right now. Albert hits it out to deep right. Backing up Aquino. He'll make the catch. He's got a big arm and fires it into third. And save! Wow. The run scores. That's Donovan Edmund tagging up from second to third, and Aquino showed off a cannon in right. I didn't think he was going to make that throw like that, and that was bang, bang. What a throw. It's the 123rd sack fly for Albert to tie him with Robin Yount, third most in Major League history. He's looking to serve the ball somewhere, get it down fair, and get this game tied up. Grounded to third base. Steer rips to first, and the Reds win it. They hold the Cardinals to two runs on three hits. Cincinnati snaps its skin in six games and claims the opener from the first place Cardinals, three to two.